Hello, and welcome to another episode of Seaside Survival. This is Ryan, and welcome back to Seaside Survival. So you'll notice that I'm standing somewhere strange. Um, I've got some bad news for you, unfortunately. Um, our world here at the Seaside got corrupted. I do not know what happened. Uh, I was down here in the... No, uh, no. Yeah, 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 in here. Um, in the Skelly Spawner working on some redstone and uh, when I logged back in this is what I found um, so if we fly up out of this weird water hole here you'll see that unfortunately a large chunk of our world is gone I have no idea what happened um, one moment it was there and the next moment we have a glitched chunk so yeah uh, and worse news, uh, some of the new stuff is gone. This is what's left of the mossy cobble. The horse is here. Terribly slow, horrible horse. Um, but this is... This is all that's left of the mossy cobble. Um, beautiful build. Ugly... Ugly error. Um, and even worse, I had just relocated all of my inventory from right here to a new stack of chests over here and that got regenerated in this glitchy chunk too so um now my builds are gone and my inventory is gone it's uh it's not ideal folks so um i was thinking about what to do here uh i i, I could just place some grass over the hole rebuild the mossy cobble or tear down that part of it and just keep going but uh, the one holdback I have with that is that the bedrock version of this game has been kind of glitchy you've seen some of that on camera like losing all my netherite or um, randomly dying when I'm flying as if I'm taking damage and I'm, I'm not um, there's just there's just bugs and I am really hesitant to continue putting a lot of time and effort into a world that might just be completely lost someday. Um, eh. So I've been debating over the last couple weeks, what do I do? Um, do I continue on with this map, the seaside? Do I create a new world? Do I switch to just streaming? Do I stop playing? I don't think I'm going to stop playing. Um, and I've made a decision that uh, I am going to start a brand new world. And at least for now, say goodbye to the seaside. Um, I'm going to have bedrock, obviously. I'm going to have uh, this world saved. And I'm going to back it up as it is now. And I also have the backup um, from um, the end of season two before our season three progress so i'm gonna save that stuff and maybe we come back to it someday um maybe we don't we probably will maybe definitely we might but for now um I, uh, sadly it's it's time to say a, a fond farewell to the seaside um i'm going to start a brand new series in which I'll be playing Java edition of the game. And I'm gonna use some cool texture packs that are gonna look really cool. Um, I can't wait for you to see it. Uh, it's also gonna feel really nice to have a fresh start. I've been here in Seaside, well, I've been doing these videos for two or three years, but this, this world save is four years old, more than four years old now. I started this, uh, pre-pandemic so yeah it's it's been it's been my world for quite some time um, and it's gonna be hard to say goodbye to it but I, I think that the fresh start aspect of starting a brand new world is also going to be really really sweet it's been a long time since I had nothing but like wooden tools and a chest and a bed um, it's been a long time since I've had to fight for survival against basic enemies. Speaking of, I should probably gear up, yeah? Um, yeah, it's it's been a while since I've, like, 
roamed around and explored. Uh, I've, I've stayed near home for the most part in this series. Um, and I think it would be cool to do something that's a little less focused on building up one particular area um, and one where I'm just playing the game. So the next Lex, Let's Play series is going to be a bit more uh, l l just playing Minecraft. Um, so I hope you look forward to that. I, I do. I, I look forward to a new start. But the thing is, I love this world. Um, people watch this stuff. You know, I don't have millions of subscribers or anything like that, but people watch this series and I don't want to just never have closure here. So that's why I'm recording this video. Uh, it's called Closure. Let's just go look at the stuff that I've built over the last four-ish years. I'm out of rockets. Okay, so honestly, I think that the hardest part about starting a new world um, is going to be the fact that I don't have an elytra and I know that I'm I'm going to die multiple times by uh, just jumping off a ledge thinking that I can fly and finding that I cannot fly because I am far away from having an elytra. Let's just put some of my junk in this box. Oh, one of these is good. Nope, none of them are good. Where's my good bow? All right, let's go take a look at this world. Yeah, I, we started off uh, at, at world spawn, zero, zero, um, and uh, made our way out here to the seaside um, for this Let's Play series. So let's go back to where it all began before this uh, this YouTube series. This, this is gonna take a while in the nether, so, um, Let's just, let's just cut to when we're there, all right? Okay, let's start at the beginning. It's a good place to start. Um, so here we are. This is where we began. Um, made this cool little bridge going across the canyon here. And this is our first real home. What's up, chicken? So yeah, um, I place some carpet I suppose my cats and um, uh, smelting setup pretty neat oh yeah did I have a second floor uh-huh yeah unfurnished apartment on the second floor underneath the house was the storage setup which was kind of neat there we go some good stuff in the chest and um, I had a railway actually going to our uh, iron golem farm. I'll show you that in a little bit. Outside of here, we have this tower thing. I, to be honest, cannot remember for the life of me what this was used for. Um, let's go take. Let's go take a look. Oh, is this our portal room? Nope. Enchanting setup. Ah, here we go. Okay, broken portal. Broke that for some reason. And uh, yeah, this is where our portal was. That's cool. All right, so we can take a look out. That's where we started down there. And there's our house. Uh, this mountain, <laughs> this is crazy. I built that mountain. Uh, this was kind of flat terrain, and I put a mountain there. Um, I can't recall why I did it, but I'm sure I had good reason. So let's jump down off of the Space Needle here. And I think I had villagers. Yeah, here's a, a cartographer. Hey, come in. Sell me a map. Hey! Yeah. Don't worry about it. And down here we had uh, Fletcher. Hey, you're still around. Good to see you, buddy. It's been a while. And we had some farms. Um, so I've grown wheat, and uh, that's it. And here we have a automated chicken. Um, it's where I get my fried chicken from. 
simple um, sugarcane farm here. Potions guy. This is my buddy CJ's house. This might have been a prank he never saw. CJ really liked the wandering llamas, um, so I made him one outside of his outside of his house. Uh, and then I turned it into a store where he can then buy this stuff. I don't think I ever made any sales, but I like the build. This is where, oh, this is right. That that's a, This is where our big portal was. We had to move it for some reason. Uh, I don't remember why, but this is where our big portal, oh my. Oh yeah, we had some iron. Um, this is where our big portal was. We can continue through the other side, but we're gonna we're gonna go the back way, the scenic route. To show you some stuff. This is the top of that um, sugarcane farm. Um, and we had a temporary animal pen here, um, but that all got moved eventually. This is the other side of that garden with the uh, fried chicken and whatnot. So yeah, this is just some ab abandoned animal stuff. Oh, hey, we built stuff in the ravine too. Let's go check that out. That bridge that we went over um, at the start of the tour goes over a little ravine and out. Mm. Okay, so there's our bridge and we had something down here. Oh, that's right, the pumpkin pie uh, maker. This produces all the ingredients that you need for pumpkin pie. And a boat dispenser. Cool. I forgot I built this over here. Neat. Let's continue the tour in here. I'm going to take this path over to the castle area. Castletown? I think we called it Castletown. Yeah, this whole mountain was man-made waterfalls and stuff. Um, this is a cool thing. Um, yeah, okay, that's exciting, but uh, we'll, we'll get there in a minute. Um, this is a cool thing down here. This was my skelly spawner, I think. I hope this is safe. Yes, okay. Cool. Um, yeah, this never got totally finished, but this was a, our skelly spawner. So the skeletons would spawn in there and get dropped down the chute here. You can go in and just slay them like so. I think I had something under here more. Do I? Yeah. Kind of a basement level with some storage. Good stuff. Um... And there was something back here. Oh yeah, our, dis our disposal. So, no? How do you do this? Oh yeah, well you were sorting out your inventory full of the skelly drops. You can dispose of things. Um, like so. And then you have one last chance. Oh. Well you had one last chance to recover it. And then you can empty the recycling bin like that. Okay, so that was Skelly Spawner number one. And let's see, what should we look at first? We uh, will come back to Castletown. Let's go over here. I spent a lot of time building up this area over yonder. And this was my second home here. Kind of a hobbit hole theme. Here we had our little bedroom. A dining room. 
And I was going to do something here. I think this was going to be a mega storage room. Um, and then I decided to move to the seaside and, and start this series on YouTube. Um, oh yeah, this was cool. Okay. So I have nearby a melon farm, a cactus farm, and an iron golem farm. String. Um, and I had all of those farms feeding into these three chests. Uh, which I, I really like that concept. That was cool. Um, above us here is an iron golem farm and golems would spawn and then get killed and then their drops would go down and go in that chest here. So I think I brought a lot of my iron over to the seaside. Yeah, I cleaned house, um, but those used to be pretty full. Some backup building storage there. And um, this is the iron golem farm. We got a lot of good use out of it um, and got more iron than we ever did use on, on this map. Um, so it, it did the trick. Uh, this was our cactus farm. I think a creeper blew it up, um, but this was automatically getting us cactus and that fed into our house. And then over here, was our automated farm wheat generator so we would plant some wheat and then harvest it all in one fell swoop um, those dispensers would dispense water and put all the crop into this hopper line and eventually it would flow into our house good stuff should we sleep this rain away let's sleep I'll just sleep on this park bench here. Okay, morning and hopefully not raining anymore. Yeah, Castletown. Castletown took a while. Um, this was this is all vanilla, um, built by hand. Me and a couple friends on the server would just collect stone and make it into these stone bricks and built up Castletown. Um, I am really psyched about this grand entrance. I, I really like these turrets here. Um, still, really like that. I think that holds up. Um, and this is a, a cool Castletown village. I really enjoyed building this. It was a lot, um, but I, I really do like how it came out. And it gives me that village feel, you know? Um, this old castle. Castletown. That's why I named it Castletown, I suppose. We got a windmill. Um, the castle is over there. And some village buildings over here in the neighborhood. So let's check it out. Okay, nice little pond. The beef shop. Did I... What was I doing with beef? Oh, <laughs> I think I had a cow crusher. Um, okay, uh, th this is the windmill. Okay, there's a tree in the windmill. It looks best from the outside. Oh, our map room. I forgot about this. Cool. I wish that wasn't missing. Um, but, yeah, that's cool. I think, yeah, you can go behind the map. There's something up here. Oh, hey, dude. Outside of the map building. Got some cool stuff in the village. This was um, an empty building with an attic. And this was, this is kind of where I was living while I was working here. I had a couple chests. Um, yeah, cozy little abode. I think this was the potion bar. Yeah, potion bar. This was something. I think this is just a villager house. Yeah. And this was our access up to the castle wall, if I remember correctly. Oh, yep, you can go up in this turret here. Kind of neat. 
And you could also access the wall of the castle, like so. Um, so these walls go around the whole castle town area. And this is how I would travel for the most part. Wait, is something under here? I think there was something here. Nope. Oh, I'm thinking of something that's in the castle. We'll get to it. We'll get there. I want to take a look in this building. I had some farms in here. I think this is where our, our, our beef supply came from. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, that's right. That's right. Okay. We would come up here. This is a cool little design that I made. World famous. Um, where you feed the cows from right here. And the adult cows would stay but the baby cows would fall through the cracks and end up in the water flow, uh, the water flow below. So you'd come up here and feed your cows. I think I had a farm. Yep, here's some wheat to feed the cows with. Was there anything here? Oh, this is where I stayed. You'd feed your cows with the wheat, and then you'd come down to this level, and... Um, the baby cows would fall in here, and when they grow up, we would make them not alive anymore. And that's how beef is made. Let's go look at the castle. Oh, before I forget, this was my portal. Check this out. This is kind of cool. Um, so our portal is underwater, which stops the mobs from coming through the portal. Neat. Castle Town Castle. This was a fun one. Um, still just a lot of stone stone bricks, um, but um, this, this was a cool thing to build. Um, and it was the first thing I think ever in Minecraft that I had done on such a huge scale. This just the castle town in general with the castle in it. Um, it was a lot of work. I Yeah, I like this. This kind of looks like a gate that should be coming up or down or something. Um, a little garden. And uh, this is the inside of the castle. Now, there was something down here. I'm trying to remember what this was. Oh, I was going to make a mini game down here where you cut off the lights and you have to run through um, in the dark. And of course, mobs would spawn like crazy when it's dark. You had to get something and bring it back. And you were unarmed and didn't have armor. Something... I called it something run. I don't I don't know. All the magic of capture the flag without um, having to have more people or teams or flags. What's through here? This is cool. I'm kind of uh, rediscovering some of this stuff. What is through here? Oh, well, there better be something here. Is there... Is there anything? Oh, it's just back to my home. Is that a metaphor for something? It feels like a metaphor for something. Or is it a simile? I don't know. Bringing you with me, bed. You never know when you need to sleep. Okay, so in the castle. Um, there was something here at one point. I had a beacon in here, right in the center of the castle. Um, what did I have in here? I think I brought some ravagers in or something and had like a, a mini game in this town square where you had to, you had to slay them. Um, eventually the plan was to have a bunch of shops and stalls in this town center with villagers selling things. 
Um, but we left Castletown for the seaside before I got any of that going. Um, okay, so this was relatively unfinished in this turret, but this was our neato uh, brewing area. I had a brewing stand here and uh, grew some nether wart. Kind of cool. Each of these big towers had something in it. Um, this one had a cool little wooden bridge. I think this one had enchanting and underneath it there's some villagers. Yeah, enchanting up here. Oh, there was enchanting. I brought some of these tables with me when I moved to the seaside. Oh, there's one. And, uh, oh, this is a mob farm. Nice. Let's go look under here. I think there's some villagers we should say hi to. Yes? Hey, buddy. How's it going? Luck of the sea, efficiency... Hmm. Hey, wake up. Or novice fisherman. Okay, you can go back to sleep. Outside of the castle, this was my last build, I think. Well, this is kind of where I was living while I was constructing the castle um, and what's beyond the castle. So let's go take a look at one of my homes. Oh, I put this here. This is one of the bedrock bugs. Um, light level seven as an item. I. I don't think that's supposed to be an item. Um, should we place it? May as well now, right? What does it do? Nothing. Nothing at all. Well, that's a metaphor. Okay, so yeah. Uh, here's your ho Here's my house. Some storage. Um, flags. What's this? Oh, it's just a rocket. Some paintings of kung fu fighters. And um, I think up here, I had a launch pad for Elytra, Elytra stuff. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that. We'll look at that soon. I think I had something neat over here. Uh, this is my smelting setup. Um, oh, there was a farm. I built a farm in the wall. Another sugarcane? Sugarcane farm here in the window. In the window? I mean in the wall. Let's go look at this thing. So I think we have to fly to get out here. This was cool. This this was a really, really fun build. I love this thing. We got some spawning platforms up there um, in the dark. And then mobs will spawn up in there and fall down this tube where you can kill them down here. And it was set up perfectly so that I could sit up there in those glass blocks and watch it. And that was just the right distance away. Um, we have oh, another sugarcane farm here. We were set on sugarcane. Um, but I, I wanted to make this kind of my farming district with um, with all my farms here so that they could be running um, all the time while I'm here. Hey, bamboo. Bamboo farm there. Um, yep, more sugar cane. And another fried chicken. Uh, don't, don't worry about this. Uh, going up the stairs, we have our portal here, and I think this is another AFK spot. I can just safely sit here and go AFK while my, my farms run. Oh yeah, we had sheep up here. Sheep, shear, and machine. So I had dye and wool as much as I needed. There's another level, right? Must be. Yeah. So while I was here camping out at the farm, uh, mobs would be dropping and sheep would be shearing. 
sugar cane and uh, bamboo would be growing and I would be set on all of the necessities. We won't spend too much time here. I, there's a there's a floating ship. This was going to be a land bridge and uh, it didn't get finished. But over here, this did get finished. This is my farming district. Um, so we gotta sleep actually. This is where my uh, important farming got done. Okay, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Easy. So this is why we sleep. Okay. Don't fear, I took care of him like a professional. Uh, this is our Breaking Bad uh, camper where we farmed in. Uh, ah! Inside, it's it's roomy. You know, you got a bed and a crafting bench and a couple of chests. You can eat and look out at the crops. And uh, I planted a lot of wheat here. Custom tree. I think this is the last thing that I did before we moved to the seaside. Oh yeah. Got into some berries here. And then this was um, version one of my flower generator machine. I copied this idea over by the seaside. Let's see if it still works. Um, yeah, there's got to be an on switch somewhere, right? It's got to be somewhere around here. I can't find it. It, it, it doesn't matter. Okay, so that is, uh, that's Castletown. Um, after I built this stuff is when uh, I started to make my way to the seaside. So we're not going to walk that path because it's a long one, but we're going to follow it from the sky. I built this path all the way out to where our end portal is. Oh, we'll make a couple of stops along the way, won't we? Because there's a couple of builds along the way. The journey out east, west. Uh, the journey out to the seaside um, is meant to be walkable, so I placed rest stops along the way. This was a fun little uh, exercise in exploration. Um, I remember building this out. Um, this must have been around the time that COVID started and uh, it was just at home. <laughs> doing this um, and I, I just remember it being a really fun build to make I, I guess I could consider it a build um, just making paths and making little huts along the way um, just throw on a podcast or watch a movie or watch some TV or something and just path my way to the uh, to the end portal Cool floating island there. This is a faster journey when you're uh, not making a path all the way out here and when you're flying. I suppose. Um, we've got this turret here. We can go up inside of it and uh, I guess shoot down any intruders if we had a bow. There's a lot of torches here. What is this? What happened here? Ugh. This better not be another meta metaphor. It's the mines.
Okay, so uh, this is this is the in between, um, in between Castletown and Seaside. Um, I built this little getaway out here. A little fox. This is meant to be a wandering trader house. Um, this is a Minecraft generated villager home. Take a look in here. Got some llamas. Token llama for the llama building. And this was my base of operations out here while I was working on the end portal room um, and kind of building up this little village. I don't have a name for this village. I, I, I don't think I have a name. I guess end portal village? Maybe? Uh, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this this is a cool little spot. And then down here is some more homes. Um, and this is how we would get to the end. I drop down my patented drop down chute, hoping that there's water. There's water. Got a library, all my valuables, I'm sure. Um, and we have a portal, um, which takes us to, uh, the nether, and that's how we travel out to find the seaside, uh, but here is the end. Let's go visit the end, a place I have not been in probably three years. Llamas, go figure. Okay, so let's step carefully. Let's not die. And okay, so there's End Island, and I think I had something here. Oh yeah, I got into this phase of building over giant chasms with black glass. I think this is an Ender Ender. Let's check it out. Yeah. So I have a little uh, End Mite thing in there, and it's gonna it's gonna spawn Enderman up here. They're going to try to go to that and then fall down this hole. Um, and that is where they die. How's my elytra? Good. I don't like this place. Okay. Let's give it a try. This is where you can get XP um, like crazy and ender pearls for days. We'll just wait here a minute, see if anybody comes down and visits. Yeah, we're getting some buddies. They just spawn above and then they fall down and we can hack away at them safely and get some ender pearls. Oh yeah. I was I was doing a lot of digging. So if we look down here. Yeah, I was starting to hollow out this island. Um, and then, then I realized that was a terrible idea. Um, because it's not an attractive place to build here in the end. And uh, I just didn't want to do that to myself. I think I did hollow this out. Yeah, I hollowed this out. I'm just going to do something neat in here. Uh, but that is... That's the end. Now it's time to keep our heads down and go back to Seaside. Back home. Back to the Seaside. Uh, so this lighthouse is where it all began. Um, when I started filming this stuff for YouTube, um, I had built the lighthouse and was making some additions to it. My storage room, I lived here inside the lighthouse. I think I had a farm down here. Yep, hey, sugarcane and bamboo, cool. Um, and then you could go up here and I believe I had some enchanting. Yep, enchanting and potion set up up here. And each level had a cool little porch scenario. I, I, I liked this house. This was a fun build. And I, I, I think it holds up. This is a cool one. Map. Updated even. Cool. I thought of everything. Um, my backup elytra. Dragon egg is here from de defeating the dragon. These are, these are the books from the storyline of season one. Um, yeah, good views all around. 
and uh, let's see. I'm trying to go in chronological order, but I'm trying to remember what that order is. This little, um, just kind of a farming storage place. Um, bees was early on. The bee build. We have a lot of honeycomb from this one. But yeah, the bees will come out of their hives and pollinate, and make honey, and honey accessories. There they are. Hi, bees. And if I remember right, we worked our way down the hill a little bit. And um, we made a sheep, another sheep farm over here. A farm farm over here. Let's go see the sheep. Yeah, there they are. Hello, my sheepies. And a cool rail system that would go and collect all the wool from underneath and then come back and drop it off at some hoppers. We had some automated farms down here as well, like um, wheat was automated and cows. Um, well, they weren't automated, but we just did that manually um, and some lava. And down, down here, of course, we had our village. Which I made into hobbit holes. A little throwback to uh, Castletown Hobbit home. And the beach! We built this beach. This wasn't here before. Um, so I made the, the, the land mass. And then a couple years later, I added all the detail here to the beach. But we're here. Let's take a look. Got a little tiki hut over here. The clucky tiki. This is where you make your um, your drinks, your potions and stuff is here. And of course, what would we do without a bamboo farm? Um, so this produced a ton of bamboo, which was a, I think that was a, a semi-recent update where you can make planks out of bamboo. So it suddenly became really useful to have a lot of. The staircase leads upstairs back to the village. Um, but let's go look at the fishing setup here. This really cool fishing pier and um, for a while, my buddy Nick and I would play um, over here in the seaside really often, and it was just kind of fun. Honestly, I, I wasn't recording or anything. We would just sit over here with our cooler and just fish and chat. Um, yeah, so this, I like this pier uh, a lot. Um, and this is kind of our, our fish, fishing um, dock, I guess. There's fish storage and potion set up here um, this bridge and we have a fishing villager over there let's go see how he's doing did I not have a way in oh here's a button hello master fisher How do we... uh, let's fly. I built this tree around the same around the same time with the floating portal, which I still submit is uh, a pretty cool organic that giant tree. Um, just kind of added more a, a mythical feel to the area. We've got our mob farm over here. Uh, this is all tinted glass so that light doesn't shine into the mob farm um, and you can stand out here on the platform and get a ton of mobs spawning in there. It worked very well and got us all the gunpowder we needed for all these rockets that we use. Um, this one is 
think this is our armory? Yeah. Closet design. Some armor. This is before trims. Journeyman. And a... Master? Of what? Smithing? Who are you? I think that's a smith. Ah, who are you? We just have armors wandering all around this place. Oh, this guy. This guy's a shout out to uh, one of my viewer, one of my viewers uh, who's been with me since the beginning. MSP, you know who you are. I, I don't remember what this is for. Maybe this is where they do yoga um, before they start their shift. I, I'm not sure. Um, I remember this being a build that I was really proud of the detail that went into it. Um, everything is, oh yeah, turn the lights on and off outside. Um, to, yeah, just everything inside of here is intentional. Um, and I think I made a really cool use of the space um, with these details and yeah, the functionality of the build too. Pretty neat. And I think that takes us to the Terra Dome. So through the mountain we go. We have a cactus farm. In case we don't have enough cactus, there's another one. Uh, there's probably a couple more sugarcane farms in here. Uh, I don't know. I've lost track of how many of those I've built. This is the Terra Dome. Uh, and this is where season two primarily took place. Um, there was a lot of story around this. Um, so this was just a big open um, kind of donut surrounded by uh, this mountain. And uh, I changed a lot of the terrain in here. Some areas more than once. Um, built this giant dome. I am so proud of this build. I think it's, I think it's really cool looking. Um, and I've really enjoyed having just this open air storage area concept. Um, kind of risky with creepers and whatnot, but it's it's all lit up inside of here and it's safe. It's cool. To, I, I, I just really liked having my home basically be just this giant dome um, that we can just be outside and store, store all of our stuff. Um, so there's a way down here and we've got another machine here. Um, yeah, sugar cane. And all the skulk. This is where our beacon is um, in this mass here. A lot of shriekers, a lot of noise down here. Of course, our portal, you know about that. And this is another pumpkin pie maker. Um, so all the ingredients to pumpkin pie are farmed in there. It's great around the holidays. This is our cave entrance. And once you've seen a cave, you've seen them all. Um, and this is our new armory over here. This is where we store our armor and our tools. I'm really happy with this build too. I was kind of in a creative slump and decided to not plan anything. Just build something. And this is what came out. Um, and I'm really, really happy about this. Um, so all of our good tools are in here minus the nether netherite ones that glitched through a portal and were lost forever some backup wings um i'm not bitter about the uh loss of the uh the netherite stuff no no of course i'm not bitter about that and hey if you turn boots in an item frame upside down it looks like airpods so keep that in mind Let's head up to the Dark Tower. I was reading a book series called The Dark Tower, and that inspired me to make a tower that is dark. Um, but that is where uh, a lot of season two took place. My recording studio, so meta, um, was in the basement of the tower. We'll show you that here. Close the door behind me, of course. And uh, yeah, this is where I recorded 
and edited uh, all the video for season two. Oh, this is so cool. We can listen to records, sit on the couch. Um, is there still a fish? Yeah, there's a fish in there. We got hops. How are you doing? I haven't fed you in a while. Are, are you good? Are you good? Do you want some chicken? He's good. Kitchen, tools, enchanting. You got it. It's all the usual stuff. This is a um, secret portal in the wall. And the tower. I, I like this interior area of the tower as well. This is the huge bookcases. Um, this is another big, large-scale project that took quite a lot of time. Um, and I was just really excited about how it came along. Uh, much like the castle over in Castletown, um, this took... Uh, I mean, large-scale builds are hard especially in what's basically single-player single, single player, um, vanilla. I'm mining all this blackstone in the nether. Um, it was challenging, usually, uh, but the end result was just really cool to see this all come together. Where did I get a shovel from? Okay, so we got another turret here. And this is... Oh, this was going to be an enchanting place. Can we turn on the lights on? Let's sleep. This corridor is cool. I mean, it's a good view, obviously, um, of the dome and the area. But yeah, this is just cool. Just walking through here. All right, let's head over to the meadow. And this, um, I've worked on the meadow through all of the seasons, um, but I built this one, I think in season two, Lakeside. This is kind of our, our home away from home. You can sit here in, in the cabin and go out and go fishing. And uh, I terraformed this whole area too. So I think this was just kind of plains area. Um, and I made this, this cliff and uh, fabricated the water coming out of the mountain and uh, into the lake and then down into this lower level lake here. It's cool looking back at all this stuff, you know? Things that seemed big to me at the time don't seem big you know, after after having experience in other areas. And just remembering, like, some complicated looking builds didn't take a lot of time, but digging this thing out took forever. <laughs> oh boy. Um, yeah, and then this is the this is the new area. So, if and when I come back to this map, this is what I'll probably continue working on, right? Um, last episode, we cleared out all of this area here, um, ready to put in a village. And that village may may come again in the future. Um, but for now, I'm ready for a new start. Now, this is where our skelly spawner was. Um, and this kind of brings us back to sad times here. Um, so let's look at our latest build. Um, this is the uh, flower generator machine. And, uh, well, I suppose you know all about this, because it was just one or two episodes ago. Over here is Nick's house. Um, we haven't, we haven't gone there very much. Let's go take a look. Um, I hope it's alright that I'm, I'm touring his place, but, uh, this is what I gave him when he joined me here. Welcome to the seaside, and this is Ducky. So 
So Nick's got this really cool setup. Um, a lot of storage, obviously. Awesome, beautiful map wall. Um, in indoor farms. Are those skeleton horses? Yeah, sick, dude. I didn't know we had this. Uh, we got a sugarcane farm and a bamboo farm here. And I know downstairs he's got a smelting set up. Here. And he fuels that with lava. And then Nick and I worked um, a lot on villager breeding and villager trading. Um, and Nick mastered it. He's got all of these villagers um, all kitted out with amazing trades. Um, so it was super easy if we needed a bunch of mending books or um, if we had to re-enchant something, like if we lost all of our netherite armor, um, we could come over here and get what we needed. Um, this is our rings course. So we built this really cool um, Elytra flying course here. And you go through and try to make it through all the rings. Um, I'm, I'm not going to do that, but I think it should be shown because we spent a ton of time in these caves here. So yeah, part of the rings course is gaining speed here and then taking this ridiculous dive into this cave where you're now in tight quarters. Um, so I wanted to fly around down here since this was a huge, huge build um, for basically just aesthetics for a mini game. Um, we gotta eat. Yeah, we used glass to make these like crystals coming out of the ground and coming from the ceiling and mushrooms and I truly played around a lot with dynamic lighting down here um, so I wanted it to be relatively mob proof in case you fell um, but I also wanted it to look like a dark cave so some of these man-made gems are really lit up um, and then the mushrooms it's just a tower for my bed and my belongings Boy, yeah, this one was a lot of work, but I think it paid off. This is a really cool space to fly through. It makes me want to live in a lush caves biome. <laughs> Next time. Next time. We have this stairway up, and that's going to lead us back to where the skelly spawner was um, and back to the meadow. So hey, if you're still watching this video, thank you so much for coming along with me on this journey and indulging this giant world tour. Uh, I know this is probably my longest episode ever. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you watching this. Um, and more importantly, I appreciate you watching this series. Um, I, I, you know, I, I, I know I'm not exactly um, you know, YouTube's premier number one minecraft youtuber here but people watch this people tune into my videos um and i think that's pretty cool um that i can make something and just be a hobbyist at creating creating a world in this game and have people following along with me um and, and watching it and commenting and liking and all that good stuff along the way um so with that, um, this is the world tour. Um, I will be back in some form or another. We'll, we'll do something cool. And, uh, and we'll start a new world. And it's going to be great. Um, and I, I may return to the seaside someday in some capacity. Um, but for now, um, this has been 
This has been Closure. Thanks, thanks again for coming along with me on this journey, and I'll look forward to you in the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>